all right everyone thank you so much for the wait now we're going to start the demo and demo will take approximately 35 to 40 minutes i will request all of you to stay till the end so that you will get the full benefit of uh, uh, tips and training that we're going to discuss of writing task 2 and i will explain how our system going to work during classes as well myself love preet verma i'm the founder of vineyard english I personally take demo classes and I have a huge uh, team of experts. All right. So guys, we are the first institute in India having PhD English experts in our, in our team. And we have IDP and BC certified trainers as well. In normal centers, normal center hire those trainer who achieve six or seven bands, like those student who achieve seven bands, they got hired by the companies, but we do not hire those freshers. We hire only experts, PhD experts, MPhil, uh, and those who achieve uh, great accreditations. Zoom live instructor led classes will be there. One and half hour class will be there. Two module will be covered in detail. Speaking will be there on every day. Two other module, we will provide you the assignment from the resource account. I will show you what is resource account in upcoming slides. One mobile application we provide you in which you can see your own recordings. On recording means if you're going to attend the class today, you can review it by tomorrow in your mobile application. Plus there will be 100 plus recorded videos from different trainers you can review and you can learn lots of stuff. Just in case if you miss any class, your concept will not be missed. Your concept will be in your mobile application you will not be in the class though practice account with 160 practice test we're going to provide you one practice test account i will show you this in upcoming slides one per practice test dedicated mobile app we're going to provide you second mobile app regular assignments will be there full length mock test will be there this is the practice test account guys i'm going to show you this lively <clears throat> is this visible to all of you it says verma our logo yes. is there Okay. All of you, it's visible to all of you guys. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, great. sir. Great, sir. Thank you. So basically after the enrollment, you, you're going to get this kind of account. And once you click on online test, you will be able to see IELTS academic IELTS journal training, two modules of IELTS. So if, if you're a student of academics, still you will be able to attempt journal material and vice versa. For an example, if you click on IELTS academic, you will be able to see five full length mock test. Full length means one mock test approximately it will take three, two and a half to three hours to complete. Just like real IELTS exam it, and it's going to be time bounded test. Once you click on IELTS academic readings, you will you will see five section over there every section further going to have five readings in it 40 questions 60 minutes so all tests will be time bounded test so 25 readings will be here similarly if you click on listening every section going to have five listening in it 40 question 45 minutes so 25 listenings here academic writing again you're going to have five section every section going to have two question writing task one and two so you're going to have 50 writing tasks over here. In case of journal training, you will see journal mock test here, journal 25 readings here, listenings here, and 50 journal writing tasks. If your grammar is weak, you can go into challenge zone and enhance your grammatical skills as well, going through these grammar concepts. Apart from this, if you go to our website, in the website domain, you will see in the download section, there is a mobile application. You can download our mobile application from here. And after the enrollment, we will provide you a license key. And once you will have a license key, if you're a student of academic or journal, you will be able to see your videos like this in your mobile. 150 plus videos will be there. Apart from this, guys, you can see the reputation of our company, Google our brand, win your English, once you be free, you will be able to see our ranking. We have 77 five-star reviews from different students. You can read all reviews and with God's grace, zero negative review. Coming back to the presentation. 
so these many services we're going to provide you those who just joined don't worry i will explain these things at the end of the class because i value your time i will not waste any second even so guys are after enrollment every saturday there will be mock diagnostic mock test every saturday we will do one mock test in which our experts will check your level where your performance is going so every saturday we will analyze your performance every class will be started with tips and training 5 to 10 minute tips and training after that the content will be delivered and every class will be ended at an assignment once you will submit the assignment our experts will review it as per idp or bc standard and provide you the feedback through the whatsapp group we have very small whatsapp groups very focused whatsapp group we do not entertain any non sincere students only sincere students are given the preference given the admission in our uh, groups so this is the journey from first week till fourth week on monday we do listening in detail exact listening going to be there as you going to face in the real ielts exam formal speaking one to one speaking will be there reading and listening we provide you an assignment from the resource account that i just showed you tuesday writing task 2 will be discuss in detail in detail means your trainer will let you know how to write down introduction how to write down body paragraph how to write down conclusion everything will be discuss in detail you can also discuss your weakness with the trainer during classes similarly wednesday writing task 1 speaking thursday reading speaking i will show you the crux of reading listening writing and speaking all modules today just in 35 to 40 minutes similarly on saturday we have mock test full length mock test four module will be assessed we will check your performance sunday we share blog study material video tips sheet of connectors vocabulary etc this is the way how our uh, tutor going to give you the feedback you going to get a detailed feedback where you got wrong how you got how how you can improve yourself and you will get the evaluation as per idp or bc standard like task achievement coherence and cohesion lexical resource grammatical range and accuracy so guys uh, now i'm going to show you how our listening is going to be happen in the real ielts class so on listening day your trainer will explain what type of questions will be there listening questions will be there how to attempt where to focus where not to focus after that he or she let you know what type of conversation will be there in all the type of listenings all type of questions will be discussed at in the initial phase uh for an example if you would have trouble in like solving map kind of question you can ask your trainer like ma'am i'm having trouble in solving these kind of question what is the logic behind then your trainer will let you know how to attempt these kind of question how to where to focus where not to focus now i'm going to play little listening guys just for half a minute so you will get to know how our real listenings are going to be there in the classes so normally why we show these things in the classes because earlier we used to show only writing part and many of the student uh, ask like how your listening going to be proceeded in the class so we show now all four sections so once your trainer will let you know the type of will cover the type of the listening questions will discuss your tips and trainings after that he or she will ask you to write down 1 to 14 numbers on your notepad so that you can write down answer simultaneously when the listening is going on after that the listening will be played i'm going to play it for just half a minute listen carefully hello lead next month it's about 10 meters high you'll see it on hill road across the road from the bank point of view didn't it include dance and singing and animation ways matters okay guys was that audible to you all of you was that audible to you yes sir ha uh, yes sir okay. yes sir thank you thank you thank you very much so this kind of listening will be played first the listening tips and training will be given to you on the listening day after that your trainer will ask you to write down 1 to 14 numbers and this kind of listening will be played once you come up with the answers your trainer will show you the real answers just give me a second please 
yeah this kind of screen will be shared after that so for an example if you got eighth wrong instead of dg7 you got dc7 you can ask your trainer i got this answer and he or she will go back to the eighth question and eradicate your confusion if you have certain like queries certain problem like you are facing trouble in solving multiple question you can ask your trainer how to get how to solve these kind of question then he or she will explain you what to do that what not to do that so after this i'm going to show you the reading part how are reading going to be happen similarly on reading day your trainer will explain what type of reading questions will be there where to focus where not to focus three or readings you will day you will do on reading day this kind of reading screen will be shown initially your trainer will let you know how to read the inst instructions it is very important after that your instructor will let you know how to read the questions so normally the reading question is very important to come to know the demand of the question we recommend of uh, our students to uh, read the question and convert the question into your mother tongue in your mind if you speak punjabi convert the question into punjabi in your mind if you speak other languages convert the question into your mother language so that you can come to know the demand of the question and mark the keywords after that you will you will be given 8 to 10 minutes and you will read the paragraph you will find out the answers and after that the real answers will be shown to you by the trainer and if for an example if you got 12th wrong you got d instead of e you can ask your trainer ma'am i got d and why it is e then she will let you know why it is e and why it is not d and what is the logic behind so everything will be discussed in detail so that you won't face any trouble in the real arts exam after that for an example if you are a student of academic and you got 33 to 34 your band score will be 7.5 so band score will be evaluated as well guys now i'm going to discuss the writing task two skills tips and trainings how to get more than seven bands until this point any doubt any question i'm here to answer let me know any question no sir okay, thank you and everyone no sir okay thank you so if you guys would have any question you can ask me at any point of time i will not mind okay okay sir so basically the writing task 2 score is going to be evaluated on four parameter char cheeze hain jis pe aapka writing score evaluation hona hai first is task achievement and response second is coherence and cohesion third is lexical resource fourth is grammatical range and accuracy and how the score is going to influence every task is having every pillar is having 0 to 9 bands So, if you get seven band in task achievement and response, six in coherence and cohesion, six in lexical resource, five in grammatical range and accuracy, the average of these four will be your band score of writing task two. Now, what is task achievement and response? Task achievement and response means how you going to achieve the task, how you going to respond the task. The language is going to be assessed whether you going to cover the all the essentials of writing task two or not. essential means as introduction alone has three parts background information or general comment plus paraphrase the statement plus thesis statement if you miss any of these three you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response similarly coherence and cohesion implies a perfect linkage between paragraphs as well as lines an ideal writing task too must be linked properly from the very first line of the introduction till the last line of the conclusion lexical resource means the type of vocabulary you going to use some student just use high vocabulary words even they are not sure the meaning of those word and they end up with 5 or 5.5 band because those words ultimately alter the meaning of entire passage grammatical range and accuracy means what type of sentence structure you going to use whether you going to use writing uh, whether you going to use simple sentence a uh, compound sentence complex sentence complex compound sentence you're going to write down in passive voice your pun <laughs> your uh, punctuation going to be matter as well so lots of things going to be matter <laughs> guys uh, kindly keep yourself on the mute face salman i do i i don't want any disturbing disturbance in the class kindly keep yourself on the mute face thank you 
So these are the five type of essays, guys. Uh, opinionating essay, where the examiner will ask your opinion, advantage, disadvantage essay, discussion essays, problem solution essays, direct question essays will be there. Every kind of essay is having its own treatment. You cannot apply one treatment to all kind of essays. So we teach all our students to uh, attempt these all kind of types. We will teach you how to do that. So guys, I this is the high band structure. This Sir, is the I high band out. structure. Hi, uh, Shiv Sai, do you have a question? Yes, sir. Can yes, please. go ahead. Uh, sir, actually, uh, what, what would be the writing uh, helpful in, in the sense, uh, what is meant by objecting it and why, what is meant by supporting it? What do you mean by it? Uh, you uh, yeah, just explain about that, no, sir. Uh, regarding that, uh, we are opposing sir, something. We are, I'm giving a positive opinion about that particular essay. So I'll come to that point. Let me explain the structure first. I'll come to the point, right? Okay. I'll definitely come to the point. Don't worry. So guys, this is high band structure. If you follow this structure, you will definitely get more than seven bands. You can take screenshot of it if you want. So as I said, introduction alone has three parts, background information or journal comment, plus paraphrase the statement plus thesis statement. Now, what is background information? I will implement the structure into the real example in upcoming slides. So just bear with me. So what is background information? Background information is something which talks about the topic in the past. For an example, in yesteryears or in previous years, people used to wear simple clothes, but due to the advent of modernization, masses tend to wear sophisticated clothing. Purane samay mein log simple kapde pahante the due to the advent of modernization. Modernization ke aane ke karan masses. Masses is the synonym of people. We cannot use people, people again. So we need to use synonyms. Masses tend to wear sophisticated clothing. Now on some topic, it's hard to make the background information. In that scenario, we can quickly write down a journal comment. Nowadays, People tend to wear sophisticated clothing owing to modernization and globalization. That is a general comment. Plus, paraphrase the statement. Paraphrase is an art, basically. You need to convert the question into your own words. Into your own words. You cannot write down the exact question in the introduction. Some people believe that. Others are against to this view, just like that. Plus, thesis statement. Plus, thesis statement. Thesis statement means it is a great indicator to the examiner or the reader that what we're going to write down in further body paragraph. I am going to discuss this view in subsequent paragraph. So this is a directive phrase, which basically helps the reader or the examiner to come to know what we're going to write down in body paragraph. It also come, works as a linker. It links the introduction with the body paragraph. As I said, coherence and cohesion is must. After that, in body paragraph, it has been seen that many people just write down five, six, seven point in one paragraph and they write down two, three paragraph. They end up with five or 5.5 band. Then they complained IDP or BC system that they have faulty evaluation system. No guys, they have perfect evaluation system, but we need to understand what their demand is. We don't need five, six point. We need just one point, elaborate it well, explain it well, support it with example, that's it. Your one paragraph is ready. To writing down, writing task two, you need two to three points only. In conclusion, we need to sum up the entire gist uh, or we can rephrase our opinion, what we have cited in the introduction. Entire writing task two should not be less than 250 word. If it would have 249 words, still you will be penalized and uh, it should not go beyond 300 words otherwise more grammatical errors will be there so guys in the in our every writing class we have integrate many activities like brainstorming activity in brainstorm why we integrate brainstorming activity we have observed that in the real ielts exam when student go there Students often feel blank over there. They feel points are not coming to their mind. They feel so helpless to overcome that weakness. We have integrated many activities during our classes. Aapse practice karwai jayegi, aapse bulwaya jayega. Your trainer will ask you the points 
and you will tell the point your trainer will write down the point so basically we will help you to generate the content in the classes so that you will have enough confidence in real ielts exam you will have enough points in the real ielts exam so we will do a little activity those who would initiate those who will participate i will appreciate those who will not participate don't leave the class just observe the class okay this is a real question which came into the real ielts exam in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past do you think this is a positive or negative development so now the examiner is asking us do you think this is a positive development or a negative development so in this brainstorming activity you guys will tell me the advantages of living alone imagine yourself you're living alone in canada on student visa what would be the advantages would be there one by one guys tell me i will write it down start from rahul sir it uh, it enhances it enhances our confidence okay more exposure it will boost the confidence yes okay Good we analyze point. the we we analyze the deep things okay next next from okay who would next uh balpreet imagine yes, yourself you're living alone in canada and what would be the advantages over there give me that one um you will become social means uh, and uh, maybe it helps to uh, we will learn some new skills very good point so one can learn new skills such as first uh, you can say cooking right for boys <laughs> yeah <laughs> right so yeah first first yes. thing yeah and, uh, and what are this and i think it also uh, when we live alone it uh, we will work in peace and quiet wonderful and, uh, point maybe... so no disturbance will be there yeah so one can pursue his or her own hobby right Mm -hmm. such as dancing singing yoga exercising right uh, anything yeah pursue any hobby reading books meditation very good point palpreet okay next we can be a more con more confident okay yeah that would come under more exposure it will boost your confidence level so one will learn new skills such as cooking and what other skills guys tell me the skills just imagine yourself you are in canada and what things you going to face sir, we can learn how to um, how to manage the expenditures very good very good point so one can learn financial management on how to manage budget right yes sir. so one can learn how to manage budget right you can write number of things okay? okay so another thing one can learn the value of family because yes. one will miss the family yes, right yes, ultimately yes, yeah i was about to say that <laughs> great sir thank you right next point someone right privacy here. and independence yes uh, gurudavar singh you are right uh, privacy privacy will be there no one will be there to infringe your decisions you can take your own decision privacy will be there no one will be there to disturb you uh yeah privacy is very good point next point freedom one can become self sufficient yeah one will become independent self independent and self sufficient yeah self sufficient independent and full freedom will be there nobody will be there to stop or restrict anyone right self sufficient will be there yep good point guys and one will know how to handle emergency situation if one is living alone no one would be there so one will be enough capable to handle emergency situations okay fair enough now guys tell me the disadvantage tell me the biggest disadvantage of living alone balpreet 
so, uh, i think uh, we have uh, um, uh, mm-hmm. dis- we have uh, disadvantages more than advantages like boring life yeah sedentary lifestyle yes and uh, lack of safety very good point it means like uh, uh, it is for uh, maybe girls but boys too yeah yeah boys for yeah too because if robber or criminal would be there if they would come to know he or she is living alone they may attack right so yes. lack of safety sir yes. home sickness yes and sir. loneliness home sickness yes that is the biggest one actually home sickness one will feel loneliness due to loneliness one can fall into depression yes. depression yeah or one can fall into so bad bad drug abuse very good point sir bad company one can fall into bad company all right uh, guys some people are uh, some yeah are just uh, writing down in chat box it's hard to read for me kindly speak up instead of writing in the yeah there is one person from xiaomi mobile says no care us yeah no family will be there no one to help good point hmm, all right no one to help yeah, yeah. so no one will be there to help in case of emergency right yes yeah so what, uh, what another point financial crisis very good point sir valid point i can say financial crisis if one is living alone he or she has to pay all the bills alone in joint family or in family two three earning people will be there so no problem but if one is living alone he has to pay car rent gas and everything right whole household work should be uh, done by alone itself yeah so alone cooking huh <laughs> <laughs> so one has to execute all the activities alone yeah good point uh lack of family values yes yeah or somehow lack of traditional values right so some may embrace the western culture you know forget the traditional values fair enough any other point good right thank yes. you so much guys those who participated the the entire purpose behind this brainstorming session is that to let you know how our class is being functioned in real time so that once you will start you know once your brain start functioning generating content you will have enough point in the real ielts exam this is the biggest weakness student face these days they feel so blank in the real ielts exam points are not coming to their mind so hum aapko itni practice karwa denge we will make you enough practice that you will have enough point in the real ielts exam now we will discuss the solution using this method let me explain it so guys the question says in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past do you think this is a positive or negative development so this kind of question we can answer in three ways you can write down positive positive about it in all paragraphs you can write down negative negative about it in all paragraph or you can balance the statement you can say it has more positive consequences than a few negative ones you can attempt in three ways now these days many people choose to live alone especially in metropolitan areas and this rate is far higher in developed countries such as canada and seems like this has become quite normal there So guys we have written a journal comment plus paraphrase together see the length of the sentence from this till this now it is being asked in the question that do you think this is a positive or negative development we have to answer it in the introduction along i believe this trend has more positive consequences than the few negative outcomes it offers so we have clarified that it has negative side as well so we balance the statement more positive things but some negatives as well let us discuss the topic in detail before reaching to the 
conclusion this is the thesis thesis line basically this is a directive line which direct the reader from the first paragraph to the second paragraph so it also links it it is a linker and it is a great hint as well so in the body paragraph 1 what we need to do we need one point we will elaborate it we will support it with example what is the one point the single person family those who live alone we call it single person family is seen to be positive from kaise positive hai from better personal skill development and economical perspective do cheezon se behtar hai kaise hai kyun hai that we going to discuss now a single member family forces a person to learn some basic skills including cooking cleaning the house paying utility bills managing personal finance purchasing daily commodities adopting hobbies and many more important skills this makes someone self dependent which has a greater impact on the development of the country in a broader sense broader sense means if someone becomes self dependent he or she will earn money he or she will pay taxes eventually it will be beneficial for the economy as well guys keep yourself on the mute phase please if you don't have any question thank you now we need to exemplify it we need to support it with the example for instance research shows that student who stay away from home for their tertiary degrees learn more skills and become more self dependent than people who study from home so here we reinforce our idea we supported our point in the example you can make the example you can fabricate the example it's not important example should be a fact aap bana sakte hain apni taraf se but the fact here is it should be supporting to your main point so one point elaborate it well cite an example in body paragraph 2 similar method we will choose we will write down one point elaborate it well supported with example from the opposite view point as we balance the statement in the introduction in first paragraph we write down positive positive in second paragraph we write down negative about it the trend of increasing single person family has few negative outcomes as well kaise hai kyun hai that we going to elaborate now the increasing trend of sing living alone has direct relationship on the percentage of people suffer from psychological problem these days those who live alone suffer more from psychological problem living alone creates loneliness and depression whereas those who live in a family setting always find someone to share sadness and stress so those who live here we show the comparison of those who live in a family settings and those who live alone so if we show a comparison in the paragraph it's it's wonderful the isolation often leads people to choose a lifestyle that is often negative kaise for example a recent study reveals that single person family members often rely on drugs and many of them become addicted because nobody would be there to stop the human is a social being and living alone is against their natural tendency for many bearing the total expense is tough and this leads them to get involved into crime because some people face hardship to meet the expenses they choose wrong ways to get money so what we did we write down one point we elaborated from this point till this point we cite an example to support the main idea now in the conclusion we need to write down the gist of the essay we can rephrase our opinion whatever we have written the written in the introduction to encapsulate to sum up at the end these kind of phrases can be used at the end in the conclusion the number of single person families is increasing in this contemporary era and this has omnifarious omnifarious is the synonym of various this has various positive aspects despite some negative consequences so guys here we reinforced our idea that it has some negatives as well hence one can learn numerous cardinal skills important skills of life if he or she choose to live alone so guys this is a writing task 2 which i just described using this method 
if you will use this method, you will definitely get more than seven in writing. Now I'm open to the questions. If you have any question, I can answer now. Give me the question. Thank you. Any question, guys? I'm open to question now. If you have any question, otherwise we will proceed with the speaking part. So we can move to speaking parts. Sure, sir. And others, no question? Uh, sir, what about the writing test one for general test? Yeah, that, that's going to be discussed in detail as I just described uh, the writing task okay. two, right? So first, your trainer will uh, generate content with you guys. He or she will ask you the points and you guys will generate content. Brainstorming session will be there. After that, he or she will uh, let you know to write down introduction, body paragraphs. Then the solution will be discussed in the real time. Okay. Yeah. So everything will be so detailed. All right. Any other question from anyone? Sona, Srikant, Tikula, Rahul. Man Manju, Sharma, Dinesh, Akula, no? Okay, we'll proceed with the speaking part then. Sir, is it necessary to write both points, advantage and disadvantage both? Or we can write just by advantage and or just disadvantage only? Sir, in that uh, disadvantage, ad like an advantage, we have some like in body term, right? We have some like body part in that. We have to write it down first. And then See, we have to write the advantage. And as I one. said, every question is having its own treatment. So where the examiner will ask you to discuss your opinion, whether it has more advantages or disadvantages, then you uh, can write down one side, like it has more advantages. So how, than, how, like how many words we have to write in one paragraph? Well, it depends. You have to 40 to 60 words would be of introduction. And maximum 40 words of conclusion. So out of two mean words, like 250 or two, okay, okay. Yeah, 50 word would one paragraph, or uh, if you write down two paragraph, take it like 80 words in one paragraph. 80, 80, 160, 80 and 160 yeah. plus 100. Like we have to write in 300, 350 something. Uh, you should. It should be between 260 to three, 280. I would say 300. Okay. Once you go, you know, beyond the limit grammatical errors possibly more grammatical errors would be there can, yes, and yeah. some may have a question how to count the words i will tell you guys if you will write a line and it would have 10 words so just you know count one line if you have 10 count words in one, one word. line multiply by the lines if you write down to 26 lines that means you are on the safer side 260 words will be there right so guys every kind of task is having its own treatment we will teach you everyone in the classes with different types of uh, assays with different solutions, right? So on, sp on speaking day, the speaking exam will vary from 11 to 14 minutes. There will be three section. First section would have question from the generic in sense. You, the examiner will ask you journal questions, describe about your past studies, about your family, your hometown, just like that. After that, second round will be of cue card round in which he or she will give you one minute to prepare. And for two minutes, you have to talk about it. What is the technique to prepare in one minute? We teach our students how to prepare in one minute using various methods, spider diagram, 5WH family, and there are other techniques as well. So you need to quickly introduce the topic. After that, you need to uh, cover these bullet points and you need to conclude the topic in one and a half minute at least. And how to do that? We teach our students to use the power of imagination. And what is the power of imagination, guys? We work on the psychological pattern as well. So power of imagination says you can add even those points which are not even existing. Uh, guys, I would request all of those who entered from mobile IDs, just rename your ID if you can. Otherwise, it's hard for me to identify you after that. 
So just rename your ID or I can re rename your ID. So there is a first person 301 Ruthin. May I know the name, please? I quickly rename all of you. Those who are from mobile ID. Ruthin, can you tell me your name? Okay, OnePlus. Who's from OnePlus ID? Uh, uh, Aditya, Aditya, OnePlus 6. Yeah. Okay, Aditya. Just one minute, guys. I need to identify Aditya, everyone. Usually. Okay. And the one is from Vivo 1907. Vivo 1907. Okay. So kindly, yeah, rename yourself. I'll continue with the speaking part. So guys, what is the power of imagination? You can add even those points which are not existing. If examiner will ask you to describe your city, describe Melbourne, Toronto, Michigan, nobody is going to check the facts. So if someone asked me to describe my city, I would say I live at Ludhiana. It is a cosmopolitan. We have a wonderful lake on the southern side where people love to visit in the evening. We have multifarious plazas. We have world's oldest church in our city. We have world's renowned university in our city and uh, our city is having a perfect infrastructure. Just like that. Examiner is not going to check the facts. He or she is going to check your fluency, your sentence structure, how you're going to manage the topic, how you get going to make the conversation more interesting and relevant. That is how your band score is going to be assessed. Is there any question? Guys, hope yes, everything sir. is clear. No? Yes, sir. All clear. Okay, great. Aditya. Okay. Any question, guys, I can answer now. This is the end of the you know so we can lie we can lie that's no problem mm -hmm. but we can lie there is imagination we can tell but we can lie to them yeah i know i'm living in america like that mm -hmm. we need to say the fact so, see uh, uh, mr muhammad if uh, you have facts that would wonderful but if you don't have facts because most of the students don't know about the facts right those who read newspaper okay. magazine journal they know about the facts but yeah. not everyone read journal or newspaper right so in that scenario the more you will lie the more you will make the conversation interesting spicy the more bands you will get Okay, that's not affecting our plan when we lie. Not at all. You are just going to answer the tape recorder. An examiner is not going to check your journal knowledge or facts, right? It's okay, not a it's not an exam of facts. It's an exam to assess your language ability, to, to assess your presence of mind, to assess so wonder, how you tackle the topic. Yes, please. Yes. Anirban, do you have any question? Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Actually, sir, I just wanted to know mm -hmm. that uh, similar to writing module, mm -hmm. in the speaking part also we have to uh, uh, keep uh, mind about this uh, lexical resource tense and grammatical errors and all. Yes, keep, sir. In speaking as we well. Have to, uh, yes, keep yes. These See, linkage should be there. You cannot be derogated from the topic. Coherence and cohesion should be there. Grammatical range and accuracy. See if your grammar would be wrong, how you will attempt more than seven bands. Lexical resource should be there, but it should be relevant. You should not use any high vocabulary or flory word, which you are not sure of. If you are sure, if you know the meaning of elation, elation means happiness. So you can say yes. I, I was, I was happy or I was so elated. I was flabbergasted. So you can use this word if the syntax is right, if you're using it in a right way. But if you are using, uh, you know, in a wrong way, definitely you're going to get impacted. Your band score is going to get impacted. So just like writing, we have to paraphrase here also like introduction, no, 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 then no. body, in then speaking, example. No, sir. No, not at all. In speaking, you're not going to paraphrase it. In speaking, what you need to do for an example, let me show you one thing. Okay, here it says, describe a time when you receive some positive feedback. So you can say, uh, you need what you need to cover basically, when it was, it's asking time. What the feedback was related to, work, study, or any social work. Who gave you the feedback, the person you name it, and explain how you felt about it. You need to tell how you felt at that time. 
So you can say, last year I got a wonderful feedback from one of my professor during exams. I performed very well and I was the first student who finished the entire exam under time and got first in that. And that was a pride moment for me and it was a very wonderful moment for me. I was so elated when I came to know that I came first in the exam. And additionally, my professors and my principal gave me a award for that, just like that. So quickly, you need to cover all these bullet points. You need to introduce the topic in one to two lines. You need to cover these bullet points. You need to conclude it using connectors like additionally, furthermore, moreover, you can extend, you can talk thousand words about it. Whether those things were there or not, whether you came first or not, whether the exam was there or not, you can fabricate it, you can make it. You got my point? Yes, sir. One more thing, sir. I just wanted to know, sometimes uh, many of the students use fillers. So how to reduce those fillers? Like... Uh, fillers. Uh, sometimes, uh, yes, fillers. Yeah, you covered we, this. We should reduce fillers. You co to cover those fillers, you can use more of our further, more additionally, first of all connectors yes. so connectors are there to fill the fillers right so guys we okay, have okay. we have made this course so intense to IELTS we have made this course so amazing so that you guys get wonderful bands those who wish to join just text me where you got this link I would like to show you the recent results as well just give me one moment I'll we are working on the value pattern. If we will satisfy you guys, you guys will definitely get, you know, refer us to other people. So our students are getting amazing bands. This is our student. Is it visible to all of you guys? Yeah, we can see. Yes, sir. Yeah. So Shobit Singh was our student. You can see a post on Facebook as well. He got nine in listening, 8.5 in reading, seven in writing, seven in speaking, overall eight. Let me show you another result as well. So apart from this, this is the another student of our Irapuri. She got Irapuri. She got nine in listening, eight in reading, 7.5 in writing, seven in speaking. So guys, we work on this pattern. She have even written a wonderful uh, review for us. You can read it on uh, Google as well. So many students got wonderful bands from uh, ours because we work on the value pattern. Uh, these are the, okay, let me show you one more. Okay. The recent, is it visible the Shalu's result to you guys? Yes. Sir. Okay. She got listening nine. She got reading 7.5. She got seven writing and amazingly she got 8.5 in speaking. She worked on the imagination pattern and she got 8.5. It's very hard to get 8.5 in speaking and she break the record. Um, you can also read many reviews of our students. Amazing reviews. So you can, is this visible to you guys? The reviews? Yes. Sir. Oh, we can yeah. see in Zoom. Yeah, you can just yes. uh, Google, yes, you can Google about yeah. us and you can okay. read all reviews. So guys, this is the end of the session. Uh, I have to wrap up the class. Another trainer is waiting for next session. If you would like to join our classes, most welcome. We have various batches for journal as well as for academic. Just drop me the message where you got the link. All right. Thank you so much guys for sparing your wonderful time. Really amazing session I had with you guys. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, ma'am. And have a great evening. Good night, mm -hmm. all of you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank sir. you, sir.